Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about Pirate Nation. And they are having a season 2 of the play to airdrop. And the season 1 was a very, very exciting. I was very excited with the airdrop that I got it. I'm going to share everything, how to claim and how much I got it on the video. However, if you want to participate in of season 2, I have, I think, 5 free pirates. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. However, if you have some of the partner NFTs, you can also get a free part. I know the Cypher are partners from this game. So if you have an Inu or an Eco, you can go ahead and get a free NFT as well. However, if you don't, you can get one of the parts on the link below. And if the pirates finish on that link, you can jump on our Discord and I will incentivize everyone to share the referrals there. So if you have a referral, you want to join our Discord and share and the referral channel, you're going to be able to do so. And other people are going to be able to get a free pirate and start playing. So now let's have a look on the game. So the game is very simple, but it's quite exciting. So you are a pirate. You have your own island here, as you can see, where you can put all the different decorations on the island. I wouldn't focus on that too much for now. However, you can do other things here so you can get different materials and craft different things that you're going to use on the mission. So here you can see this is my inventory. I can come here on craft and I can craft, for example, a net here that I know I'm going to use it. I can also craft a wooden ore here as well and an anchor I would be able to craft if I had enough stones. However, I can see here I'm missing one of my stones and now with my inventory I can go ahead and jump to the different quests. Now on the quest, you're going to get different parts that you needed and sometimes can be very difficult because for example, for me, I need to get a C map and you can see sometimes it just show this and you have to go and keep searching for it. However, what you can do is put C and put the name of the thing you want to search for. So you can see here now the C, now the high C's map is showing here and you can see there are in all of them. So I can see what are the chance on each one. And also I can see here what is required. So here on the side, it shows me what is required to participate on these different quests. You can see here it's going to take 14 of my energy and also it's going to take these two different things because I don't have the faded map. I can pay for it here using gems. You can see I don't have any gems. So of course, I'm going to try to get a faded map. So I can come here and say faded and here it's going to show me all the faded map missions. So now I can go ahead and decide which one I think is best. So all of those here on the top is 10%. These ones here are 20% and this one here on the bottom is 10% as well. However, you can see I can get some of this in currency from the game. So I need to make a decision which one I'm going to use it and also what resource I want to expand to do the mission. So here are the different resources that we expanding. So I'm going to do this mission here because it's uh, the cheapest in cost in resource is more expensive in energy. However, I think that's a good one to get started with. Now I can try these different ones as well because I really need that C map. I can do one at a time. I can do all at once if I want it. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. Now, all this run on its own blockchain. So if you come here, there is all the transactions that were fired on the blockchain. And that's why it takes a little bit longer to process everything because I'll go to the blockchain. Now, once this finished, I can close here and I can see the results. So you can see I got a faded map. So that is really cool. It seems that there are other things that I can do here. This is for the battle I'm going to show you on a minute. So let's come back here. And now with this, we can go ahead and try to get a C map. And let's see what else can we do. So we're still with 93 energy. So one of the missions I do every day is the one here, the Mide Marches Training Grounds. So the reason I do this is because there is a lot of experience. And with the experience, I can level up my character. You can see here I'm level 17. So this is going to give the experience when I get to level 1000, I'm going to pay 750 of the currency of the game. So this is this uh, marks here. And then with that, I will have my pirate level 18. Now those are the quests you can get it. You can also get 
parts of the boat that you want to build. So for example, I want to build a frigate. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So you can see for this, you need one of the high seas map and you need the cut grass. And I do have one of it. So I can go ahead and do it. Now I think I have the piece number three. So hopefully we're going to have a different piece this time. So let's go ahead and check it out. Like I said, it runs on the blockchain. It takes a little long. So I got another number three. Let me double check if that is the one that I already had. So you can see I have two number trees. Unfortunately, it takes quite a while to get all the different things you needed to do this mission. So it's very unfortunate that I have the same here, but I'm going to keep trying to get it. Now you can also build kennels, seals and different things that you can uh, put on your boat and that will raise your boat during battles. So you can see here my boat so I can go so I can go to the dock. This is my boat. I put here on the optional slot uh, armor. So that will give my protection to my boat. And of course, you can go ahead and buy boats. Now you can sell everything on this game. So everything that I got here. So I would be able to sell these plans here and buy another one if I want to. However, I need to have a license for that. So at the moment, I don't have a trade license. So you can see I can unlock by buying an NFT or I can hang my capital all the way to level 10. So you can see here I'm level 5 at the moment. And the only way you get points here is fighting all the daily quests that you have here. So that's 5 fights. I think each fight gives you 5 points as well. And you have to hang all the way to level 10. So for the hard mode here, I have to pay some marks to play. I think it's 500 marks. And my cards are not very good for the level hard and we can just pass the first one so it's not worth for me to play however on the normal i can do it okay so let's go ahead and see how that works so you can start a battle so you're going to receive some cards and you're going to have some opponents and you have to sink the opponent so i have to kill this three here those iron cards so i can use the patch to repair my boat of course i don't need it at the moment because there is no damage this one gives 25 damage in all the opponent and this one do 50% more damage. So I can use that and hit all five. So I'm gonna uh, do a great mass kill here on the beginning. So I'm gonna use this 51 damage here or 15 damage and hit the other one. Then I end my turn, it's on its day turn. They attack me and the cycle continue until I kill all of them or they kill me, of course. Now there is a bunch of different cards. So for example, this one increases uh, the damage by 25%. I can use to try to hit this one. And this one inflict bleeding. So if I do go to this one here, you can see they're gonna bleed for three rounds and they're gonna lose ener energy every time a round change. Now I have one more card here that I can use. Now I can double click on the card and it's gonna try to use on the best place possible, let's say or I can go ahead and target the different enemy that I want to use the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this turn and I'll be back in a second. Now, if you're playing this game, one thing that's very important to notice is, for example, here I can block 50 damage. I know there is 30 damage coming from my side on the other round. So I just need 30 uh, and I know this one is gonna repair itself. So they're gonna, they're not gonna attack me and they also probably gonna die because they are bleeding. Now I have zero, one that's gonna block 10 damage. So that would mean I would take 20 damage on the next round. So I need to take all this into consideration to decide if I want to go ahead and use one of these cards or not. So there is no point for me to have more than 30 blocking here because I'm not gonna receive any more damage in the next round that is gone. Now, also you can see this evasive maneuver on this too. So if I try to attack them, they are gonna evade and they're not gonna be attacked. So for me, the most important thing to do is to counter attack next turn because they're not gonna have this evasion and also be sure that I have more action points to play my card and I'm going to use this one here because it's free as well. So let's go ahead and see how that plays out. So you can see the first one is dead. Uh, the second one is dead. And the third one here, I'm going to kill it now. So that's it. That is how the game works. You're going to have five rounds of this. Each round, you're going to have a different 
reward. So here I have a normal chest to open and I also got this other crate. This other crate, I need to go into a quest to be able to open it. Then I can go for my next battle and I can come back to the port. I also gonna get five common points, like I said, that I have to go all the way to level 10 to be able to trade. And I also get 200 boot points that this is what we're gonna need it for the airdrop. So let's go back to the port. I'm gonna show you some other stuff that you need to know as well. So here, the second part is the bounties. You need to do the bounties every day as well to get more air points. Point uh, here, you're probably gonna have one part like me, hopefully not, but here you can see you can filter by one part. Those are the missions you can do. Uh, I know I need some anchor, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Now, you have to send a pirate to the mission. However, you still can play with that pirate. So it's not like you need to stop play when they're doing the mission. So you can go ahead and send the pirate and then continue doing your game. Now you can see for this first one, crack the crate. That's where you're gonna send that crate that you find it before. Uh, and you're gonna get one wood, one cotton, and one stone to craft the different materials. It's gonna cost you 30 energy and it's gonna give you 30 experience as well. Now, once you get a lot of different cards, you can edit your deck to get the cards that you prefer. You can see at the moment, I have only 38 cards. I think you start with 20 cards and then you're gonna receive new cards as it go. So for me, I can play with all 38 cards. Once I have more than 40 is when I gonna start to decide what cards were actually needed. So now let's talk about the airdrop. So you can see here, this was the last airdrop. I got 1,121 tokens. At the time of the drop was about $300. I think today, if we look at the price of the token, it did drop a little bit. So this amount is about $230. Now, if we come here, you can see that I stake this for a 540 APY. So if you instead, claim your tokens, you stake it, you're gonna get a 50% multiplier already. However, the earlier you do, the bigger are the multiplier. I did on day two, so I got 490 plus the 50. Now the 50 is gonna be there for whoever do the claim and stake straight away. Now the earliest you do, the bigger this multiplier is gonna be. And of course, that's gonna count towards the next airdrop now there's other claims here that you can do if if you have a founder nft you can also claim and there is also the claim here that i already did for season one so if you play this game so come here check if you do have some tokens to claim now the way you get your points so there are different ways to do it so here uh you can get points for the parts that you have uh for the part level for the marketplace purchase that you do, uh, the energy that you spend also for the exploration quests that you do, uh, also here for the battles that you want. So I would advise you to try to do all of this every day to get a bigger airdrop. Now there is also this tab here for the referrals. So the referrals are gonna work depending on how much point you get it. So you can see here, so the different ranks for your commander decide how many invites you can have it. So you can see here, I have 25 different spots, already used 19. So you have six spots on the link below that you can go ahead and use it. Now I said the season two already started. However, uh, it didn't start that you can see here it's coming soon. However, you should go ahead and start playing and start build up your card so you can do more points when they actually start it. Now you can also see like the NFTs. Uh, here is the marketplace where you can buy uh, different things using the tokens for the game. So that is really cool because all the things that are coming out now are gonna use the token to sell. So it's not gonna be sold here in dollars anymore. It's gonna be sold for the token. And also you can go to the marketplace and get a different thing so you can get your founders part, they are going for a lot. So 0 0.869 Ethereum for a founder. And also you can go ahead and get anything that you were able to collect on the game here as well. So you can get the items, 
And of course, you can get different chips if you want to. So if we come here now and see how much the item like that frigate item is going to go for. So I can just do frigate and you can see here uh, one of those go for 00193 Ethereum. And actually the one that I received that I complained, it goes for a little bit more 00329. So I could go ahead and try to sell this item. However, I don't have the trading capability enabled yet. I have to hunt my pirate or my commander up all the way here to level 10. And at the moment I'm just a level five. So I still halfway to go. So it's still a little while. It's going to take me about three to four months to do so if I play every day, because you can only get 25 a day. And if you do play the hard mode, you're going to need a different a bolt or a more experienced part with more cards to do so. Even though I cannot sell, I can go ahead and buy if I want to. So I can buy uh, the different plans here to complete my plan and build my boat, or I can go ahead and buy the boat, or of course buy a pirate fan. That would be really cool. So that's it for this game, guys. I think it's quite exciting. I have been playing this every day. I do my five mission, expend all my energy, and I'm looking forward for season two to get started. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.